Keeping your home clean can be something of a guessing game. Do the sheets need to be changed weekly or every other week? Do you have to disinfect your counters every single day or just a couple of times a week? With coronavirus lurking, cleaning correctly has become even more important. While there are no hard and fast rules for cleaning your home, there are guidelines you should adhere to if you want to keep germs away from your family. Each room in your home needs a different amount of TLC to keep it in top shape. With that in mind, this is how often you should clean every room in your house during the coronavirus pandemic. And to learn which cleaning products to avoid, learn the 7 cleaning supplies that don't actually kill coronavirus. 1. Kitchen, daily. There is no authoritative book on cleaning, but if there were, it would tell you to clean your kitchen every day. At the very least, clear and clean your kitchen sink, wipe down the countertops and dining table, and sweep and spot clean your floors at the end of every day before closing the kitchen down, says Kate Schulhoff, cleaning expert and writer for a clean bee. As we know, the coronavirus can last on metal for up to three days, so you'll want to give some extra attention to any stainless steel appliances in your kitchen. The kitchen is the room which requires cleaning most frequently, simply because we handle our food there, and it's important to maintain proper hygiene to avoid food poisoning and dangerous bacteria getting on our meals, says Schulhoff. Additionally, since groceries from outside your home are unpacked and stored in your kitchen, it is essential to disinfect any surfaces in your kitchen that the groceries came in contact with. And to learn what other surfaces need the most attention, discover the seven home surfaces most likely to be contaminated with coronavirus. 2. Living room, once a week. Your living room is where you go to relax and get comfortable, so you want to be confident in the room's cleanliness. Once a week, you should vacuum and dust. You can also clear any clutter and just give the room a general sprucing, advises cleaning expert John Gibbons. Vacuum more often if you have pets, and don't forget to vacuum the furniture. But the vacuuming shouldn't end at your floor. Regularly vacuuming the sofa can make a world of difference to the health of the home and prolong the life of your sofa as well, says Jotham Hatch, cleaning expert and director of training at ChemDry. Outside of vacuuming your couch weekly, Hatch suggests getting your couch professionally cleaned once a year for a deeper clean. Most of us rest on the sofa while we're sick. Some of us may eat snacks while sitting on the sofa or even offer the sofa to guests that might want to spend the night. All that bacteria, dust, allergens, and other soil builds up, says Hatch. Along with your weekly vacuuming and decluttering of your living room, consider washing blankets or pillowcases on your couch that get a lot of use. 3. Bathrooms, twice a week. Since bathrooms are where you go to clean yourself, you want the room to be pristine. Gibbons says bathrooms should be wiped down at least once a week, and the vacuum brought in as part of your weekly schedule. The toilet should be bleached two to three times a week depending on use, and the towels swapped out twice a week to keep them fresh and clean. While the coronavirus pandemic persists, make sure you are wiping down the bathroom with a disinfectant that is proven to kill the coronavirus. And for tips on how to get your shower sparkling, here's how to clean a shower, with expert step-by-step -step instructions. 4 bedrooms, once a week. The room where you let your guard down for hours overnight should be sparkling so you can sleep soundly. Laundering your bedding frequently, dusting and vacuuming regularly, can make a big difference in your health, especially if you have allergies, says Jotham. You may be getting sick from dust mites or allergens in your room without even realizing it. In addition to your weekly cleaning, Jotham recommends deep cleaning your mattress or getting it professionally cleaned at least once a year. Being able to breathe easily while you're sleeping can make a big difference in how you feel when morning comes. Regularly removing allergens from the bedroom, in my opinion, is the most important place to focus regular cleaning activities, says Jotham. You're breathing in the air in your bedroom for 8 hours, if you're lucky, each night, make sure it's clean. And for more cleaning advice you need, check out these 7 disinfecting mistakes you're probably making and tips to fix them. 5. Laundry room, once a week. The laundry room is often a forgotten space while cleaning, but since many people have been doing laundry more frequently during the coronavirus pandemic, the room needs a bit more attention. The rubber seal on a front-loading washing machine should be wiped down after every use to prevent mold growth, but you can clean the rest of the room on a weekly basis. This includes vacuuming the floor and cleaning any surfaces, says Gibbons. Since washing machines are made of metal, where the coronavirus can last up to three days, you'll want to give the surface a disinfecting wipe down if you're throwing in clothes that have been outdoors. 
And for tips on how to keep your washing machine clean, find out how to clean your washing machine, according to cleaning experts. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Dot dot dot. Idea season.